Today we will learn about the North American elk, also known as the Rocky Mountain elk. Once roaming all lower 48 states of present-day United of the present-day United States, the North American elk once helped jumpstart the U.S. economy in the 16th century. Today we will learn about three main points. First point we will talk about is where did the elk live, what did they look like, and what do they eat. Second point we'll talk about is Daniel Boone and what he did to push the elk out to the west side of the Mississippi River in the Rocky Mountains. And the third point we'll talk about is the conservation tactics being used today to bring the elk back to the east side of the Mississippi River and hopefully put them in all the lower 48 states again. First, the American elk live in the Rocky Mountains, in present day Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, and many other states on the west. These elk are massive, standing at five feet tall from the ground to the shoulders and weighing over a thousand pounds. These elk have light brown coats in the summer and have dark brown coats in the winter. This is what the light brown coat looks like from the summer. Nowadays, the Rocky Mountain elk live in a number of different habitats, such as coastal rainforests, grasslands, and in the snowy mountains. This is a picture of the range of where elk live today in the red. And in the highlighted, it is where the elk once lived. As you can see, the elk once lived in all 48 states of America and even in much of Canada. Now these elk survive by eating grasses and branches from aspen and willows. In the turn of the 16th century, the elk were documented to have been in all the lower 48 states like the picture said, and there were over 10 million elk present in America. Once these elk were hunted for their wonderful meat and for their fur, this elk number diminished to an estimated 50,000 elk. Now that we've introduced the Rocky Mountain elk and their origin, we will talk about this guy right here, Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone is a trapper, fur trader, and explorer, expeditioner, from the 16th century. He lived a very chaotic life, being captured at one point by Indians and living with Indians for a few years, and then setting back out with his men to explore and hunt for more game. Daniel Boone and his men would hunt for, for elk, and bear, and whitetail, and other mammals, specifically elk. Elk profited a lot of money for their wonderful, exceptional meat and for their fur. Daniel Boone explored much of Kentucky, climbing the Smoky Mountains and shooting any elk that he could. Now, Daniel Boone was not alone and had many, many, many other hunters, fur traders, trappers, and people that would hunt these elk. This is why the elk were pushed to the west side of the Mississippi River. Now that we have discussed where the elk went, how they got there, now we'll talk about how they're making their way back to the east side of the Mississippi River and hopefully in all of the lower 48 states again. There are many conservationists such as the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation right here. They're trying to put elk back to the east side of the Mississippi River. Now this is not easy and it takes a lot of money. This foundation right here accepts donations and what they do with their donations is they take elk from the Rocky Mountains on the west side of the Mississippi River on the west side of America from the Rocky Mountains and they move them to the east side of the United States in states such as Kentucky, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. As you can see in this map right here. There are also some over here in Virginia, 
Tennessee, and parts of the Carolinas. Now, as, as a hunter, we need to try to conserve everything we can with these elk on the east side of the United States. We need to limit the number of tags and do what we can to make sure that we can establish elk back to the east side of the United States and hopefully in all the lower 48 states of America again. With the conservation going the right direction, I think that in the near future, we can see elk in the lower 48 states again. Now, today we talked about three main points. We talked about how the elk live, where the elk live, and what they look like. Second, we talked about Daniel Boone and the methods that he and others use to push the elk to the west side of the Mississippi River and to the west side of the United States. And third, we talked about the conservation tactics that are helping bring elk to the east side of the Mississippi River and hopefully to the lower 48 states again. Thank you for listening today and learning all this new material with me. Hopefully you learned about the Rocky Mountain elk, where they live, how they live, and what happened to them in history. Thank you for listening.